No woodworking machine beats a good bandsaw for resawing and cutting curves. If you're planning to buy a bandsaw soon, be sure to read our review of the latest 14-inch steel-framed bandsaws in the new June 2014 print issue of Woodworker's Journal. Senior editor Chris Marshall puts these resaw-ready machines to task in a tough cutting trial. And they're made for any shop because they all run on 110 volts. See who takes our best bet honors before you buy. A bandsaw will definitely come in handy if you build our new small shop journal project this time. It's a floor standing mirror made of highly figured tiger maple. The project offers many curves and lots of opportunity for template routing. Then check out our three part finishing process for this mirror. It's a new more on the web video for June. Or maybe you're a fan of reproduction projects. If so, you'll appreciate A.J. Hamler's 19th century shaving box. Made of walnut, it features a divided lower compartment to store all of your grooming supplies, plus a tip-up lid with mirror. You'll get complete measured drawings and step-by-step -step photos to build one for your dresser. We've also got a practical project that repurposes an old but sturdy coffee table into a handy mudroom bench. It's our latest offering in making something new from something old. Guest author and DIY personality Joanne Liebler will walk you through her building and finishing process here. She also discusses her bench project in another More on the Web video. Also on the practical side, our wood turning expert Ernie Conover has helpful advice to share if you have difficulty standing in front of your lathe. He offers an adjustable turning bench project that can help you take the load off and make your turning sessions easier on your legs. We provide measured drawings and a material list so you can build one in about a day. Ernie also demonstrates the bench in a new video for this issue. Aside from our bandsaw review, we've got more tool news to share and what's in store. And our contributing editor Shandor Natsalansi has a real novelty from ShopBot this time. It's a truly portable CNC machine that fits over a workpiece or onto other surfaces for use. Weighing just 37 pounds, it's called the HandyBot Smart Power Tool. Shondor will give you the details in our tool preview department this time. He also puts the HandyBot into action in a new More on the Web video, so you can see for yourself. On the finishing side, our expert Michael Dresner will give you five helpful project repairs that every woodworker should know in his Finishing Thoughts column. And we're kicking off a brand new trivia page in this June issue, too. Learn some little-known facts about your favorite pastime, then send us some of your own woodworking trivia for a chance at winning a nice prize. And of course, we've got a full plate of new content coming your way in our letters, tricks, Q&A, and shop talk departments. So get ready for the new June print issue. If you subscribe, your copy of the magazine will be arriving shortly. Otherwise, visit woodworkersjournal.com to start a subscription or to buy a copy of the June issue alone. And remember, for all your woodworking tool and supply needs, be sure to visit rockler.com.